concerning uh, foreign body aspiration in children in Algeria, it's a pediatric uh, department. Foreign bodies aspiration is a serious accident in children, which happens especially in one to three years old. Its seriousness is bound to immediate risk of death by asphyxiation, and in the long term, the risk is uh, of uh, lung uh, sequels such as bronchiectasis, even lung destruction. The objectives of our study were to describe the epidemiological, clinical, and radiological findings of foreign body aspiration in our country, evaluate to the bronchoscopic findings, and to evaluate the results of instrumental removal and complications. It was a retrospective study of children with confirmed foreign body aspiration admitted to our department within uh, 24 years. The following, following data were collected for patient age and sex, time of diagnosis, history of aspiration events, clinical and radiographic findings, nature and location of phonic bodies in the bronchial tree, results of bronchoscopic removal and complications. Uh, we perform the bronchoscopy in operating room with only rigid bronchoscopy. And uh, uh, about anesthesia, we had two periods. Before 1995, it was under premedication using diazepam or midazolam. And since this uh, date, it was uh, under general anesthesia using propofol and travenues. This procedure requires qualified endoscopists who is working uh, in neuro co collaboration with skilled anesthesiologists. A flexible bronchoscopy uh, is first performed in case of doubtful diagnosis of foreign body. It's used under premedication using midazolam. Total number of foreign bodies is 2,624 foreign bodies. The number of uh, cases, the number of uh, number of uh, cases uh, uh, per year regularly uh, increased up as many as uh, 230 per year. It happened in uh, year 2012. It's a big series uh, compared with all our published series. The foreign body aspiration occurred more frequently in males than in females, and the frequency peak was between one and 30 years old. A sudden choking episode is high valuable sign diagnosis. It wasn't found in one third of cases in our study, thus it uh, can't be used alone for the diagnosis. The delay between aspiration and removal uh, was in most cases between two and eight days, and it was less than uh, uh, 48, uh, 48 hours only in 21% uh, of cases. At admission, cough, respiratory distress, evocator physical signs were present in two-thirds of cases, and 13% of our patients had a normal pulmonary examination. The falling body the phonic body uh, uh, were rarely radiopaque. The most frequent radiological sign was unilateral obstructive emphysema followed by atelectasis. And 12% of our patients had a normal chest radiography. There is some radiographic findings, obstructive emphysema in the right lung, in the left lung, uh, total atelectasis, partial atelectasis, uh, radiopark foreign modis, like pin, button, earring, heart scarf pin. And we had uh, all the radiological features. And the, in the X term, this chest radiography, which was of a girl aged seven, the foreign body was lost three months in the left bronchial tree, provoked a long destruction. And in the opposite, the chest radiography can be normal when, the, when it performed early and when one, uh, the phonic body is partially obstructive. Then, when we have choking crisis, flexible bronchoscopy should be performed as soon as it's possible. 
because a normal physical examination and or normal radiography can rule out the aspiration of phonic body. Rigid bronchoscopy is, is uh, performed at once when, the radio, when we have uh, a radiopaque phonic body and when we have choking crisis with respiratory distress and or unilateral clinical signs and or radiographic signs such as emphysema or atelectasis. At what time the bronchoscopy uh, should be performed? In emergency, in any time, day or night, when we have severe respiratory distress, laryngeal and or tracheal signs, total obstructive emphysema or total atelectasis. And while the patient is clinically stable, the bronchoscopy can be differed to during normal working hours. It's safe and allows optimal conditions for performing the procedure, and it doesn't increase morbidity or mortality according to some authors. The nature of uh, uh, foreign body in the th uh, two thirds of, uh, of them were organic and peanuts. Peanuts are in the first position. We, in uh, foreign body, non-organic foreign bodies, uh, the number of head scarf pin regularly, uh, regularly increased that. Uh, in uh, 2003, we had one pin, uh, and uh, in uh, 2012, we removed 35 head scarf pin. It uh, happens uh, always like this. Uh, the, the child is uh, in front of the mirror and uh, she put uh, pins between leaves or teeth and when she laugh or she, she, uh, she talk, she, uh, the aspiration happens. In almost half of cases, falling bodies were located in the right bronchial artery. There is some endoscopic findings, chicken bone, in the larynx. It was a child, uh, 13 uh, month age. Lentil in the trachea, peanut in the bronchus. Head scarf pin got in the mucosa. A recent pen cap easily removed. Neglected pen cap re removal, removal uh, with difficulties. It was a child with uh, 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 lung destruction. Edema of the bronchus and granulation tissue contribute to the bronchial obstruction and uh, it's uh, correlated with the delay in diagnosis. Endoscopic removal succeeded in 97% of cases, even if uh, in 9% it was repeated bronchoscopies, and failed in 3% of cases those needed surgical uh, treatment. It was with metallic phonic bodies, never with uh, vegetable foreign bodies. Uh, uh, complications were rare. We had transient complications like hypoxemia, laryngospasm, bronchospasm, tracheotomy in one case, uh, pneumothorax in two cases, pneumomediastinum in seven cases. And fortunately, and fortunately we had eight deaths in one case, it was massive hemoptysis. It was when the sun, sunflower uh, flower seed between performing bronchoscopy. And in seven cases, it was severe hypoxemia, three of them uh, with beans. Uh, we think that the prevention is the best way to reduce the morbidity and the mortality associated with this pathology. Uh, primary prevention concerns parents. We remind that Starky food, dried fruits, and seeds are forbidden until the age of four years. Toys should be suitable for age. Secondary prevention concerns physicians. And when we have choking crisis, endoscopic verification should be performed as soon as uh, possible because clinical examination and or chest radiography uh, don't rule out the diagnosis. Physicians, our physicians, still don't have this reflex because the time limit between aspiration, falling body, and removal was, led, uh, was led, uh, less uh, 48 hours in 21%. Uh, uh, in conclusion, we said that uh, falling body uh, aspiration is a subject that interests more and more the scientific uh, community, 
Testifying this bibliometric analysis over 30 years period performed by the Italians, where uh, 1,603 papers were retrieved, most of them appeared in the last decade. And in conclusion, dear colleagues, I made a big effort to present you this subject in English because I study and communicate in French. So am I asking you to forgive me my bad English level for any questions. It will be, it will be better for me to have translator. Thank you very much. Or in Arabic.